bridge the gap between the East and the West by attending the iGaming Asia Congress in Macau March 1st through 3rd. Join over 300 iGaming professionals and learn the latest in Western technology and experience. I can even use him, you know, to get out of the bad situation. So he can be part of the team. Oh yeah, big time. Cool. You learn, you like that stuff. Yeah. You like that stuff. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the the time to do that often. But every time he's got the chance, and uh, we are able to go and do that stuff, he's behind us a hundred percent. Because after all, that's his life, you know. À ce moment-là, on recule, on arrive sur lui, mais toi pas trop loin derrière nous autres. Enfin, banane, OK? Toi, t'arrives. Toi, le VIP est parti, t'arrives pour nous donner un coup de main. Parfait. Tu t'en viens complètement sur mon flanc gauche. OK? okay. What you see here is like a, a bucket full of practice rounds. Right. That's enough to last the uh, Costa Rican police force two years <laughs> of training. <laughs> Woo. I think I got him. Why do you practice? I, you know, if you're serious about your security, and you actually put the infrastructure in place, you actually have to know how to use it, right? It's like anything. Basically, at the end of the day, um, when the bad guys, if they do, I mean, everybody obviously hopes that they never have any problems in life, but at the end of the day, if bad guys do kick the door down, you don't want to be standing there throwing the toaster at them. All right, Calvin. Okay, guys. We're going to see what, what kind of grouping I got here. Ready to go? Ready to go. You got a group in here, you got a group yeah. in there, which is good. I pretty much hit him with every shot. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think he could defend himself? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I mean, they weren't all where I was aiming at, but I hit him with every shot. And that's yeah. actually what you want, because you've got your margin of error based on your accuracy. And you want to, I mean, it, it, self-defense is about making sure you hit the bad guy, right? What we're going to see right now may be the difference between whether or not Canada gets invaded. It's the home militias that keep Canada safe. And Chris, Chris is actually a federal employee of Canada, so he's got a duty to defend Canada if we're invaded. So he's going to demonstrate some of his martial skills right now. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Chris, all you have to do is okay. talk it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, use two hands. Chris, yeah. okay. wait. You cock this thing? Yeah. Give me your hand, your other hand. Okay? Just like this. Okay? You don't have to be very strong on it. No? Not you know, a big recoil? No. Uh, okay. Just uh, I have a funny thing and I say, you know, it's you hold that like you you old woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Just like well, that. I fired a Glock. Is there more of a recoil? It's exactly here? the same thing. It's even easy with this one. Is that right? Okay. Because the Glock it's 40 uh, millimeters and that's 9 millimeters. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with this gun and could you just grab that thing? Yeah, yeah. sure. Thanks. Man. Okay. You got two rounds on the target. That's good. <laughs> Is that right, too? <laughs> you put him down, well, thanks for the opportunity. He, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> that, that, that dangerous foreign invader is not going anywhere. <laughs> Chris, yeah, exactly in the, good the Canadian way. army. Too. <laughs> <laughs>